Hello, it's me James and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition glitch video. So in today's video, I'm going to be running down all of the working X-Ray glitches. As ever, before I start today's video, I want to say a huge thank you to anyone in the community who has come forward with any information regarding previous X-Ray glitches or who has simply come forward with a new X-Ray glitch. A massive thank you to all of you guys. Remember, if you have a tip trick or glitch you want to submit, all of my links are in the description below. That that being said, let's get straight on into today's video. So, first of all, it is important to note that any x-ray glitch that you perform it is going to be 10 times better if you have night vision. And of course, you're going to want the 8-minute uh, night vision because that's going to last longer. So yeah, any x-ray glitch that you want to perform is going to be so much better if you use night vision. And another thing I wanted to do as well is start off with the ones that work above ground. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So in at 1, we have got this one. This one is a combination of like path blocks or farmland blocks, as you can see here, and leaves. Now, these ones here are jungle leaves, and these ones are spruce leaves. And for whatever reason, jungle leaves and spruce leaves make this effect when you put them next to a path or farmland. Now, if you did want to set this up above ground, you would simply go like this, remove one block, place yourself two pieces of leaf like so. You would then place yourself some dirt now of course if you want to use the farmland you're going to need some water so probably best off just making it into a path and of course once you've done that for whatever reason it makes that bottom block some kind of x-ray glitch and you can see if you stand at the right level we can see a mine shaft down there and also i don't know if you can see that we can also see clearly there is a spawner again it's kind of small but it's kind of handy as well i mean very easy to set up not the best visually, but yeah, it still works. Okay, so if you place this one in the correct place above ground like I am, this one will work as well. Basically, you want to grab yourself a shulker box, place it on the side like so, and you want to walk straight into it. When you open it, it will push you, and then you want to exit out, and you'll be in this mode where you can enter the block. So, like, your collision box will be... Uh, it will be non-existent, so you can kind of go in there, and as you can see, if we look down, we have a pretty good visual of what's down there. We can see a number of spawners. Let me go ahead and turn off all of my hand and stuff like that. You can see there's a few spawners down there. We've got a huge mine shaft. To be fair, this one's pretty decent above ground. Like I said, you've got to set it up right. As you can see, we're using the top of the mounting here, which is obviously like connected. And that's why we're able to uh, get this to work above ground. So either you can do what I did and go into part of the mountain, or you could go on top of wherever you are, like a plains biome or something like that. Place yourself four blocks of dirt like that, or even six on top of each other and simply do the same thing. So we're gonna go into it, we're gonna exit out, and we're gonna go in like so, and you will still kind of get a little bit of an x-ray glitch. Again, the reason it's so much better here is because, of course, we did it into the mountain, and all of these blocks are already existing in the mountain, so we can see, like, through all of them, if that makes sense. Another one that's really easy to do, and you can do above ground, is the sand one. So all you're going to need for this one, you want to grab three pieces of sand, go in, crouch space, place a piece of sand above your head, walk out slightly so you're halfway in between the block, place another block like so, and then you slowly want to go out so you can kind of see in and out of the sand like so. And this will also activate an x-ray glitch. And of course, if you turn off your hand and all the like lines, it's pretty good. You can see quite a lot. We can see a couple of chests. And of course, we can see that same mine shaft. Both of these work really well underground as well. A couple of blocks of sand on your head. Edge out of the blocks. but So you're still in like so. And then, of course, you activate the glitch. So you can see, to be fair, we're a little bit lower down than you'd probably want to be. But it still works really, really well. The next one I'm going to put now, I wanted to put it at the start of the video, but I completely forgot. Basically, the reason why is because this is most likely going to get patched very, very soon. There's a bug in the game at the moment uh, that basically your collision box doesn't reset straight away. So let me just jump into survival. So basically, how you would do this one to get your collision box to reset, you want to crash into something like that. And now, for whatever reason, the game has actually not reset our collision box, which means we can actually use like stuff like this and set up things like this to use it as an x-ray glitch. So if we go ahead and go in like so, you can kind of see a little bit of an x-ray glitch there. Now, how you would make this better is, you see how I just placed these down and it wasn't very good. What you're going to want to do is kind of like link all of this up. So the blocks that you've added are attached to where you're trying to look through. 
So what you could also do is put a line of blocks here, like this. And then when you do it this time, it should be even longer. Yeah, so uh, you can kind of have it like a play around with the placement of blocks that you add for this one. And you can see through the ground and like, you know, see the mineshaft and stuff. So another good feature of the collision box glitch, you can use structures like villages to actually get this to work. As you can see, there's a stronghold beneath this village. Now on Bedrock Edition, quite often you will find strongholds beneath villages, which makes this one actually quite handy. So like I said, if you use a structure, you can come on the side like so, look down, and we can clearly see the stronghold. A nice little tip there if you didn't know that one. Another really popular one is the Riptide Trident. A lot of people DM me in regards to this one. So basically, if you wanted to get this to work, all you need is a bucket of water and a Riptide Trident. And you simply want to face downwards and launch yourself into the floor. And if you do it correctly, like that, so like you kind of want to go like on the angle it looks like there. So we're kind of coming out the block. So what will happen if we go into this position? Uh, what will happen is basically, you'll see now. So we're going to fly like that. Wow, that was... That was a little bit crazy. So, of course, we didn't see the X-ray glitch because I was in a different perspective. But we went through these blocks, right? So, what you want to do, go like that. And, of course, because we weren't in this perspective, we seen the X-ray glitch that time. But, yeah, what you want to do, go in, fire it downwards, and you will kind of see an X-ray glitch for a little bit. It's kind of nice, kind of handy, you know. Of course, this one is going to be best used above ground. Okay, so this next one is kind of like, it happens on chance, but basically if you have four spruce saplings and you go ahead and plant them, and basically if you grow the spruce saplings, there is a chance for the tree to like be flat on the ground. So let me do this and show you. Okay, so it took a while, but eventually we got there. As you can see, it's pretty good as well. Again, if we turn off our hand and stuff like that, we've got a clear image looking down at stuff. Again, this one is completely random. It's when the leaves actually, like, hit the ground, like you can see there. And like I said, it did take me a few attempts. So, for the most part, I mean, if it happens by accident, use it. If it doesn't, there you go. Actually, just going back to the collision box one, I forgot to mention this, but you can also use trees to your advantage. Basically, if you, uh, yeah, just take out the corner of the tree, like so, go in, and you can kind of see it a little bit. I mean, it's not the best. But uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know. I mean, we can kind of see a track down there if we get the right angle. Yeah, we can see a track there. Like I said, not the best. But, I mean, we could come around this side and have a little look, see if it's any better. We can see, like, not great. But I just thought I'd let you guys know. I'm fairly certain that is all above ground x-ray glitches. Again, if you think I've missed anything, let me know in the comments below. But right now, let's get on to some that you can do in the cave. So at the minute on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, there is a little bit of a block lag bug. So that does mean if you go into this position and dig straight down like so, occasionally you can see either side, we activate a little bit of an x-ray glitch. Of course, we can see the tracks either side now. Of course, it's not the best and you've got to be careful because of course, if that was lava, I would have completely died. But this also works the opposite way as well if you go up. If I do this really quickly, you can kind of see every now and again a little bit of the track. This one also works in straight lines, like when you're digging out tunnels and stuff like that. Very easy to do. Again, it's probably going to get fixed, but I just thought I'd throw it in for the information anyway. Okay, so this next one, basically what you're going to want to do is get yourself a little tunnel like so. And if you've got lava in the right formation and you put your back to it and basically get in the right position... Your face will kind of zoom in a little bit. You will actually activate a little bit of an x-ray glitch. Again, this one's pretty good because all you need is lava and to change your perspective. So for this one, as you can see, I've come down to a lava pool at level 11 and I've got some slime and honey blocks on the floor. If we go ahead and look through the slime and honey blocks, we can see straight through the lava and just there, we've actually got ourselves some diamond ore. Now, quite often, you could find some diamonds beneath lava pools like this, and you would never know they was there. This way, you would actually be able to see them. Of course, you've just got to find a safe way to get them. On to the next one. Okay, so a really popular and really easy one is the boat x-ray glitch. Basically, all you're going to want to do is get yourself a little tunnel like so, place a boat, like so, as you can see, it's kind of in the wall. We're going to go ahead and sit inside the boat. Now, if you're in survival, you've got to do 
this very very carefully because you don't want to take any damage but all you've then got to do is kind of row into the wall and eventually you will actually activate an x-ray glitch now you don't want to go too far also it will actually like cut out but you can see we got a spawner there we can see pretty clearly again we can only see one side that's probably the downside to this one but it's really cheap to do because uh, of course you only need a boat actually saying that i'd probably bring a pickaxe because when you do get out the boat sometimes you end up in the sometimes you end up in the blocks to the side so yeah make sure you bring yourself a pickaxe as well if you happen to use this method all right so kind of like the boat one you can do that and simulate the same thing but using a minecart and some rails of course to get this to work you are going to need to put some half slabs above your head and you can simply jump in like that and then go forward and give yourself a good look around this one's all right i mean the way you would improve this is to simply add more half slabs and then you would see a hell of a lot more so sticking to the half slab theme, basically, I think this kind of style of x-ray glitch originated from this one. Basically, you'd get yourself a sticky piston with a half slab attached. Now, this is what I was talking about. If you wanted to make it a little bit bigger, you'd simply replace some blocks with half slabs. You want to stand here and then simply activate this lever. And if we turn around, we will have activated an x-ray glitch. Now, because all of those blocks there have been replaced with slabs, it's made the place i can see a little bit bigger whereas if i was to remove these and just have for example a single block we can't actually see that much so yeah definitely worth making a little bit of a bigger area with some half slabs but you don't actually need a piston pushing a half slab or a minecart to actually activate this one you simply need the half slab set up and you could get in via for example ender pearls so like like you see here i've set up this huge thing and you can throw an ender pearl and we can see quite a lot again this is going to work the best at the bottom of a world like this one i've gone really low so we can see as much as possible and if you turn your hand off this one is actually pretty good and of course if you wanted to get out you just throw another ender pearl so not only that but you can fly in as well again it may <laughs> i have no idea what just happened to me Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> oh, damn. Take two. Okay, so not only that, but you can fly in as well, like so. Same effect, but of course, this time we're using Elytra. Wow, that looks crazy when you change perspective. Oh, wow, and that's interesting to know that it still kind of works when you change perspective. Although, I would say getting in with Elytra is kind of not that good because you will have to, like, get out. So, you do need a pickaxe to get out. And I'm fairly certain, like, you can't activate your Elytra again. So probably best to use Ender Pearls. <laughs> Saying that, actually, I think maybe you could swim in there. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can. As you can see, it's a little bit glitchy getting in via the swimming method. I will mention that. And, of course, you are going to need to find a way out as well. So you will need a pickaxe. But of course, I'm just in creative. Okay, so slightly changing it up a little bit. As you can see, I've now placed half slabs on the top and half slabs on the bottom. But you can activate this one riding a horse. And of course, this one's a little bit better because you can actually walk around. Meaning, if you have a huge area set up like this, you can really have a good look and look around. And of course, if you turn your hand off, it's still pretty good. And you've still got pretty good control. That does also mean that this will work with a mule, a donkey little bit harder to acquire but the skeleton horse good thing about this one is you don't actually need a saddle but they are a little bit rarer to find you have to make a little bit of an adjustment with the slabs but one of my personal favorite ways to do this is actually the strider it's very impractical but the strider is one of my favorite mobs so yeah and last but no means least we have got the pig same for the strider you've got a little bit less movement with this and the strider although it still works you will have to make a little bit of an adjustment but it works pretty well so there we go there are all working x-ray glitches in the minecraft bedrock edition again if you think i've missed anything let me know in the comments below so that is all i've got time for i will catch you on the next one